never been in circumstances where you wondered, will I ever get this right? All the time. I, I was a new dad putting together a crib. Of course, men, we don't need instructions. And oh, so, no, you don't. No, no. Of course so I'm putting not. this crib together, and at the end, I had an extra part. <laughs> well, I had to sort that out. Then I got it together, haul it down the hall with my dear wife, and it wouldn't go through the flipping door. So I had to take it down again and thinking, will I ever get this crib I right? I knew that's what you're going to say. Uh, I tell you, when I'm thinking, will I ever get it right? When I was first married and this novice cook, my biggest challenge wasn't preparing the dishes. It was getting everything done at the same time. Oh, like hot at the table. To put it hot at the table. And I Tough can't stuff. tell you how many times I burnt yeah. the bread. Yeah. But you know what? Talk about getting things right. Maybe one of the hardest things in life is balancing work and home. Okay, I'm not going to say maybe. I think that is one of the hardest things yeah. in life to get right. Yeah. And I mean, I struggle, you struggle, and mm. in fact, there was a time where you really struggled. Yeah, now that you've brought it up. <laughs> I think you need to tell them. Okay, in my early years as a professional, uh, trying to help kids, counsel kids, uh, you know, want to be committed and successful at my work, uh, really prepared to sacrifice anything to do, do well. Uh, it puts some pressures on our marriage, no doubt. Okay, what kind of pressures? I mean, well, like, what are you both feeling and thinking? Uh, I just wasn't available enough for my wife. We didn't have a lot of time together because I was working in the evenings with all these kids, and, and it was complicated. She worked during the days. We just didn't overlap enough. Did she start to resent what you were doing, the kids, everything yeah. taking you away? Well, you know, we, we weren't together enough, so, you know, I would come home, and she'd be struggling with, you're not home enough. And I'm thinking, gee, I'd come home, and i get the, you know, poop. You know, you're not doing well enough, and of course that didn't make me feel good. So I, I ended up maybe not want to come home as much, and it put us in a really bad, bad negative spin. And you know what? I think a lot of people have been there, yeah. where they feel like they're really trying to be good yeah. in two different worlds, and they actually feel like they're maybe blowing it in both. Yeah, the cool thing is that's a long time ago. We're 35 years married, and it, we don't have it all figured out yet. But I'll tell you what: there are secrets, clear things that make a difference. Okay, and excuse me, you know I would like to know the secrets. What makes a mm -hmm. difference? I'm sure you would. Excuse me, I would like to know right now. I'm not going to be impatient. Yeah. Oh, patient one. You're just going to have to wait because I'm not telling you yet. Oh, yes, you are. Come on. No, no I'm not going to tell. Hey, I'm a gonna, widow. Just give me half a hint. I'm not giving you a thing because just a, just I'll, I'll get to hint. that because you're going to come back. I will give you the secrets of balancing your marriage and family because it'll make such a difference as you get that marriage and family connected with your work in a way that makes your family cook. It's worth staying with us. You'll love it. the circus when I was a kid okay I like the tightrope but in this case here at one end of the rope is the family the other end of the rope is your work mm. and people have to walk that tightrope all the time without falling off it is not easy I'm glad there's a safety net because I've fallen many a Sometimes time at the circus there is but in life there isn't okay well you know what we've got a couple here who's trying to walk the tightrope between Hollywood and home let's welcome Mike and Courtney Vogel all right. You know what? We have the privilege of watching Mike on Poseidon right now. Dead, please! You're not gonna make it, sir! <laughs> you just won't! I mean, come on, it's ridiculous. It's too far. You know it. I think... I think that I can make it. I think I can do it on one breath. How would you get back? You'd already be out of there! Jen, one of us has to do this, all right? It has to be the one that has the best chance of making it. And that's me. Tell me I'm wrong. Dad! Okay, I have to say... That I watched that movie, I loved that movie, and I said, man, that guy must be able to swim. Were you really a swimmer? Uh, I mean, I, I, I could swim, but... Uh, <laughs> that doesn't sound very promising. Uh, <laughs> well, it's something different when you're dragging a nine-year-old on your back through, through water in, in motorcycle boots. They actually had to build, they built these little vents into the bottom of the boot so that really? water could pass through because uh, otherwise it, I mean it's like it's like getting involved with the mob somehow and being sunk to the bottom oh. of a... Somebody told me the water was not very warm. Uh, well, no, it, it, it was warm in that it, 
in that uh, it was 82 degrees, but, but there's, a, there's a safety law. That the water can't be heated above 82 degrees because it starts developing bacteria. So when you get it initially, it feels nice and warm. When you've been in it for eight hours, uh. you can actually get hypothermia because it drops your, your body temperature. Now, now in some of these uh, movie you know, shoots that you've done, uh, you're away from home. How long are some of these shoots? Like, how long are you away from home? Um, I think the longest stretch I've been a a away from home was three months, um, and uh, that's a long time. It's a real long yeah. time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Said by the one at home, that's a real <laughs> exactly. long time. Okay. So what do you do at home when he's gone all that time? There's I parties. take care of our daughter, mm -hmm. um, which keeps me busy, and I miss him, and you know, try to travel to see him to kind of break things up, um, but just. Do you guys have, okay, my husband and I have a two-week limit. Now, I don't know if that's realistic in your life because he loves to go on his hunting trips and stuff, but we just found after two weeks, it's just like, it's too long. It is. It is too long. Um, we don't have a two-week limit. I wish that that were possible, um, but no, we don't do that. It's tough. It's tough. You know, there, I think probably the toughest time we've, we've been through is, is, is was, uh, I think, the two years ago, uh, we were in, I had to do two films back to back, one in London, one in Spain. And anytime you get international, it's difficult because now phone calls cost more. Now, oh, you know, yeah. you got to get creative with, with, with methods of communication. And um, <clears throat> so that was probably the... And that's not hopping on a flight to just come see you for no, the weekend. No, it's not. It's not. And actually, when he, when he went to London, um, a week after he left, I found out that I was five weeks pregnant. And so I had to tell him through iChat that I was pregnant. You oh, know, that like, oh, stinks! Special yeah. moments slip yeah, away, don't they? Yeah, they do. So, um, so that was challenging. How do you keep from feel, not feeling like his work is first and you're second at home? You know, we, we have it really good in that he's not gone constantly. Yes, he can be gone for a month, two, sometimes three, but then he could be home for a year. You know, he could then film a movie at home and, and he just leaves during the day, or maybe he's not filming at all for months. So it's kind of easier in that. But it's easy for me to also get spoiled. You know, when he's home and then he leaves again, and I'm like, oh, gosh. I don't here we like go this. Again. But there's lots of movies. I mean, you've got three that are still coming out yet this year. So, so you've, you've stacked a lot up in there, right? It's been, it's been good. Uh, but uh, like she said, it is a blessing. I mean, we, before, we had, before we had our daughter and, and, and the one on the way, it was, we, I mean, it was loving life. I mean, because we could, you know, we would. There was a lot of sleeping in going in on that, you know. So we're still in bed at 11 o'clock in the morning, and I get to wake up next to my wife, and I don't have to hurry and go anywhere. Yeah, that's um, amazing. It, it stinks to have to leave, but the time when I was home, it, it's it's solid concrete time. So there's perks and benefits to yeah. most every job. Okay, right? yeah. we all love waking up next to the one we love. I mean, what a treat! We love spending time together, but why is it really? Why is it so? hard to keep making the ones we love the most feel like they're first in our lives and they don't come second behind the job. Stay with us.